now construction of mo diagram for square planar complex mo diagram for square planar complex mo diagram for square planar square planar complex CP NH3 whole for 2 plus ML for type. So here we got ligand group of orbitals are LGOs are A1 G comes from S and B gender orbitals. Next is the B1 G. For B X square minus Y square orbital and E Q for C X and C Y orbital. Okay. This is comes from the character table. This obtained by comes from character table. That is from group theory. Group theory. Group theory character table. So these are the orbitals. First square planar complexes, okay. The first square planar complex, it looks like that way. M L1 L2 L3 L4. So this is the Z axis, this is the X axis, this is the Y axis. So four sigma LGR form, one is A1G, one is B1G, so one orbital, one or two orbital, and EU, two orbital, total four orbital. So this is the orientation. And point group, point is the point group, tetrahedral point group is TD, so for here point group is E4H, E4H point group, for octahedral molecule, for circular molecule, you know, E4H point group, okay. So that we have to remember for square planar complex, what are the ligand group of orbitals? This comes from the character table. So now construction. Okay. So here. You can prove over water and then there are other metal orbitals. Okay. So four sigma LGOs. So what are the sigma LGOs? A1G plus B1G plus EU. Okay. And here are metal orbitals. N minus 1D. That means N minus 1D means. B one G plus B two G plus E G plus A one G. Okay. Then N S. That is the N S. N S means A one G. Then M C. M C means A two G plus E G. Okay. Now we can interact. So first A one G one G. A one G. A one G star. Okay. I got to write it. Okay. Yeah. So this is ligand group of our vital in the US. This is metal of our vital. Okay. 
metal atom or atom orbitals. So here is the ligand group of orbitals. Four sigma LGOs. What are the LGOs? A one G plus B one G plus G. Okay, comes from the character table. Next here n minus one. What are the orbitals in n minus one? There is B one G. B two G, E G plus A one G. Okay. Next N S. N S means A one G. Next N P. N P means A two U plus U. Here N P means not three D M R. You can see that now there are some symmetry or geometry of the difference. So now A one G, A one G can form. A one G sigma, they are A one G sigma star. Okay. So one G one G star. Okay. Here is another one. Which is present in the D orbital. This one. This one. So now this also in black space. This one. And it can also form another one here. A one, three, thirty. Sometimes non-bonding and sometimes sigma star. This that cannot interact with the ligand orbital. Okay, non-bonding as well as sigma star. Next E U. So this is E U sigma. So interact with the U, okay. So this is U, okay. U is so this U interact with this, and another U present in the higher orbital. That means Q star maximum energy. Q star. That means Q star. Because Q is here. So Q and Q star. Next is the B one G. In both cases, B one G present. So now B one G sigma. So B one G sigma. This is B one G. So there are also B one G. B one G sigma and B one G sigma star. This is far apart from here. So this is B one G. That is sigma star. You are near. You are star. Now there are all the interaction is complete. Now there are lot of non-bonding here. A to U is the non-bonding. A to U. 
non bonding they are ep non bonding ep non bonding they are b2g also non bonding b2g in between they are b2g it is also non bonding so now eg to avg this is called delta c a1g to b2g this is called delta 2 b1g to b1 b2g to b1g this is called delta 1 so now we can write del sc equals to del 1 plus del 2 plus del 3 okay so this is the electronic arrangement that means electronic arrangement for square banner eg non bonding then a1g non bonding as well as sigma star then b2g non bonding then b1g sigma star so eg contains two orbital this is what t four and five So this is the square parameter. So for P T N H P whole whole two, P T N H P whole two, whole four two plus P H system. So P H means one two three four five six seven eight. So we can write that E G two A one E G E G four. A one G two, B two G two, B one G zero. So this is the electron arrangement of E P and H P whole four. So far, so it is determined that no one one point electron is there. So this is the amoid of square pair complex. Amoid of square pair complex. Okay, so this is the amoid of square pair complexes. The square pair complex that is. It is formed from the tetragonal distortion of octahedral geometry. Since it is formed from the tetragonal distortion of octahedral geometry, so in the due due to the tetragonal distortion, the d orbital uh, loss loses its g degeneracy, and d orbital can split into that b one g, b two g, e g, and a one. That's four set of orbitals. D orbital splits. So e g have same orbital, then this are all of the different energy. That's why. For square plane complexes, as the degeneracy is lost by the d orbitals, so they have different energy level. That's why not only a one g or t one g takes place, there are some sort of new orbital, new ligand group orbital generated, and this new ligand group orbital comes from the cal cal calculation of character table from the group table. So you have to remember that two orbitals take place as metal orbital. So b one g, b two g, and b g and a one. That's it. You have to remember it. Of course, I'm going to do it. Okay. So, if pi orbital takes place in the MO diagram, then what happens? The effect of pi bonding 